What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to more StarCraft. We're in the Protoss Episode 3 campaign. We're going into Mission 2, entitled Into the Flames. Now, uh, this is actually my second attempt at recording this level because I did something ridiculously stupid. Um, so as a word of caution, I will be pointing that out uh, as we go through. So anyway, let's get right to it. It's a very short level. This one is kind of introducing us to a new type of unit. Antaro Adun, Executor. Your defense of Antioch has restored my faith in the Templar caste. I admit that Tassadar's desertion had shaken my faith. Indeed, Algaris. I would hope that the Judicator would put more faith in their Templar brethren. Tassadar, where have you Be been? silent, Judicator. There is no time to waste, and I have much to tell you. As you know, the Zerg vanished after the fall of the Terran world of Tarsonis. And though the Conclave bid me return home, I was compelled to remain. A powerful psionic call drew my attention to a remote barren world named Char. Apparently the call was answered by others as well. For upon Char, I encountered those who were once our brethren. The Dark Templar. Consorting with the Fallen Ones is heresy! Enough! Hear me, Executor. For I have learned much from the Dark Templar prelate, Zeratul. The Overmind controls its minions through agents called Cerebrates. Strike down the Cerebrates, and the swarms will surely fall. Executor, Tacitar may be right. If you can keep the Zerg occupied, my force may be able to penetrate their perimeter and slay the Abomination. I pray we can trust you, Tassadar. Already I can sense the taint of the Fallen One's influence on your mind. You must return to Ayr at once. My concern is for the safety of Ayr, not the judgments of the Conclave. I will return when the time is right. One thing I noticed is the guy up here in the top left has the same voice as some of the orcs in Warcraft 3. I think in particular Hellscream, maybe, is the one I'm thinking of. Um, which implies to me that they use some of the same voice actors. Maybe somebody could let me know in the comments who uh, voiced this guy. Alright, so our objectives are to distract the Zerg while Phoenix gets into position. We have to kill the Zerg Cerberate, or Cerebrate, and Phoenix must survive. And the third one is what got me screwed up. Uh, when Phoenix appears, I sent him into battle and did not pay attention to him, and he died. So make sure you don't do that. In fact, I would just keep him away from the fight altogether. Uh, but anyway, jumping right into it here, we have 15 minutes before he's going to spawn. And this is one of those levels that is introducing us to a new type of unit. Uh, one that we will be quite familiar with, but I won't give away at the moment. Definitely familiar with that unit from other playthroughs, and the main reason we used flying units. You have not enough minerals. So we're just going to start popping up lots of probes. Probes everywhere. Go at it, probe. You have not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Well, that puts a damper on things. Let's lure a few. Well, sometimes there are some Zerg just kind of chilling here, but maybe they're not there yet. So we're going to hit our population soon, so that's all I'm going to spawn for now. I'm going to make sure we get some more pylons going. Throw up that pylon for me. Whoop! Hi there. I like to get lots of Protoss going here at the Nexus. Keep up the good work. And we're going to throw down some gateways. Go ahead and spawn that. Yeah. 
Okay, let's throw down another gateway. I like to spawn two just so we can get some units cranking out pretty quick. This level really isn't very challenging, however. Get a forge. The only thing that made it challenging for me was being a dumbass, as usual. Alright, so let's go ahead and get that extractor going, or assimilator, not extractor. I'm still uh, hung up on the Zerg campaign. Throw that guy down. Alright, so we got some buildings. We're gonna need to build a cybernetics core as well once I'm done with this fight here. Well, they can kind of carry themselves. Let's go ahead and get a cybernetics core going. Right about there. Well, maybe not the best spot, but it'll do. And that's definitely all the probes we need. It's probably overkill, to be honest with you. And we're going to want to get some more pylons. Construct additional pylons. Pylon right there. Throw up another pylon right there. And that should be really all the population we need. Might as well turn out a couple of zealots while we wait. Alright, so now we can start cranking some of these guys out. Ah, we need gas, of course. Can't forget about the Vespian gas. Put five on there. That's a decent upgrade to have as well. Uh, that will empower our dragoons. Uh, also, I'll probably be grabbing the shielding upgrade. So, we're just going to keep... Popping out some warp gate babies. Doing quite well. So you just want to continue to produce units until the timer gets down. Um, I'm probably going to commence the attack before the timer actually finishes. Sometimes I can actually wipe out the Zerg uh, beforehand, which is always fun. Next thing I'm going to start grabbing is some of these upgrades. Get out of town. Satan, Lord of Darkness. Got some upgrades churning out, and we'll grab this one next. Upgrade our plasma shields, just to keep our guys alive. Maybe someone in the comments can let me know if these ground armor things apply to all ground units, or if they're only for zealots. Um, I'm not that familiar with the Protoss as of yet, so I don't know whether those upgrades actually apply. I haven't looked that up. Good to me. I guess we are going to need an additional pylon. Keep on spawning. I have a nice little group here of units before that timer runs dry. It's 
really all you need is lots of dragoons. That's what I like to make for this level. Some zealots might be useful, but I think for now, given the resources we have at our disposal, we'll just be making these. So I believe they are a little bit stronger than the zealots, depending on the situation. Okay, so these guys do have the Protoss armor. So I'm guessing that upgrade does apply to them. And they both have the shields as well, so that upgrade will apply to both of them as well. Good to know. Boom! But you weren't expecting that many dragoons. I guess we can put them on both. All right, we got two minutes and 50 seconds. I love I love Making good time. Probably could have stood to build a third gateway, but no matter. We already have more than we really need. So this will be fun. I have returned, awaiting instructions. Keep on spawning. My love for Commencing. I have to construct additional pylons. Construct additional pylons? Never enough pylons. Working on it. Queue them up anyway. Well, we're about to finish this upgrade. So we'll go ahead and grab the ground armor. Since that does appear to apply to all my units here on the field. I'm assuming the uh, other blade move, though, only works for the zealots. Never really thought to check in uh, down in here. Alright, it's about time to push the attack, so I'm going to wait for these two to spawn and then we'll move forward. There we go. They are in position. So we get our first introduction to the Reavers. Now the Reavers, you have to click them, you have to go in here and build scarabs, because that's what they attack with. So we're going to wait for those to finish, and we're actually going to leave Phoenix back here so I don't get completely annihilated again, like I did before. These guys are already in combat, so let's move these guys in as well. We're just going to send them into the fray with an attack command. Charge! For the horde! in there and fight. Very nice. It's going quite well. And now we won't lose Phoenix like I did last time because he's just sitting up there. And the rest of our guys. These guys actually attack while they're spawning? Uh, I guess they can, cool. So I just have to make sure I go in there and actually spawn the scarabs. I recognize that these guys are actually really good against ground units. I'm not sure if they're good against buildings. I don't really think they, they appear to be that great against buildings, but it could be wrong. Thank you. 
Just gotta push her right down over here. I will remain behind and observe the effects of our attack. Return to the Citadel. I shall notify you when the brood becomes erratic. All right. So yeah, Phoenix totally sounds like somebody from Warcraft 3. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Very short and to the point. Dominated. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one.